Hi everyone and welcome to our English Acquiring and Topic Discussing channel. Yes, uh, I am sure you are also aware that there are some uh, words uh, which are really umbrella terms. They benefit us and uh, we are really in need of them and uh, we uh, we always uh, or they always help us we always use them uh, when we are even making our uh, sentences or when we are expressing our opinions yes now let's see uh, a few of them a few of those umbrella terms umbrella concepts yes for example, yes, this is really uh, striking. I found it really uh, striking when I first uh, heard them. Caliber, competence. Yeah, caliber, competence, and confidence. And it is also like this. Caliber and competence based on confidence. So, uh, caliber, when it comes to caliber, Almost all the human good qualities and values uh, are remembered. So uh, competence, as for competence, we remember all our abilities and the developed form. Yes, let's imagine a developed form of them. All those ability, abilities, uh, skills, abilities, qualities, uh, turn around confidence. Yeah, they uh, hinge on confidence. Confidence, in fact, give their meaning to them. Confidence gives uh, their uh, identity each. Okay. Everybody is the inspector, sur supervisor, and CEO of his or her own life is a CEO considered only by his or her competency. Is competency enough for a CEO, for example, for a manager, for a director? Of course, it is essential. It is vital, very important, but it is not enough. Now, yes, and uh, this was my intro. Now, this is the ChatGPT's intro to... Uh, our presentation. Yes, Chess GPT says like this, starts like this. Welcome to today's English speaking meeting on caliber and competence based on confidence. In this session, we delve into the uh, pivotal role of confidence in building a robust, sound, flourishing personality, strong personality. Let's explore the dynamic interplay between caliber and competence, unlocking the secret to a balanced and meaningful life. Okay, uh, image, let's take a look at the images first. Radiate positivity. Yes, radiate positivity. Be positive, have a positive attitude, and radiate positivity spread around positivity. Stay positive, better days are on their way towards you. Yeah. Do something creative every day. Do something original every day. Produce something, yeah. Produce something new every day. Use your, by using your imagination. Okay. Without accomplishing, without achieving, without succeeding, yes, without accomplishing something positive, how on earth a sound and strong personality is built? So building a sound and strong personality is based on doing something, accomplishing something positive. There should be something useful, succeeded pertaining to the self or ego that 
the true personality can be built posit positively. Positively, yes. Yes, there should be something useful and succeeded. Succeeded thing. Pertaining to connected with self or ego that the true personality can be built positively. Personality building. First of all, caliber, virtues, yeah, human good qualities, values. First of all, caliber should be aimed to achieve. It is one of the three steps of building a personality. What is the second condition of building a personality? What is the second stage? What is the second phase? What is the second step? The second step in personality building is to gain competence, proficiency, being able to do something very well. Competence to acquire the right to be, to do and to have something. It means if you have competence, then you have the right to be something, to do something and to have something. Without competence, please, please do not, uh, do not, try to be something, to do something, and to have something. It will be a waste of time. Yes. It's a waste of time to try to do something without having competence, proficiency. What's it like to do something without developing your caliber? Of course, without developing caliber, it is, it is uh, it is uh, misusing, yes. It is manipulating, it is abusing, abusing, misusing those competence. Yes, there is a possibility, in fact. Yes, there is a strong possibility to misuse that competence, that very good uh, feature of us. As an expert, that's why we ask an expert. That's why we always in need an expert, a professional, yes, a specialist. If we develop our competence, but do not develop our caliber, do not develop our virtues, we lack the inner peace, the sense of responsibility, justice, peace, and harmony in society. So, uh, when we take when we take caliber seriously, then uh, we have then we have the chance uh, then we have the chance to have inner peace, sense of responsibility, justice, peace, and harmony in society. What plays an important role in having both caliber and competence? Yes, what plays an important role in having both caliber and competence. If caliber and competence are based on confidence, credence, trust or trustworthiness, reliability, the balance between them is sustained. So confidence or credence or trust or trustworthiness or reliability plays an important role uh, in finding a balance between caliber and competence. Only confidence ensures, guarantees this golden balance. Yes, only credibility of an individual. Yes, credibility ensures this golden balance between uh, caliber and competence. Yes, credibility sustains the balance, the harmony between them. <clears throat> yes, an open secret. A young student visited a sage. I want to learn the secret of life. You will not appreciate that knowledge. I will, says, uh, said the student. No, you won't, said the sage. Yes, I will. After insisting on and on, saying that he will know the value of it, 
the sage reveals the basic principle of life and set be, do, and have. Here, this is also another uh, umbrella uh, term. Yes, umbrella term area. Yes, be, do, have, uh, and have are uh, umbrella terms. Yes, they are also umbrella terms. We can use, for example, them or we benefit uh, from them uh, both in making sentences and both uh, in uh, in uh, expressing expressing our ideas. Yes. B, for example, let's focus on uh, the word B. If we are heedful to be, yes, to be something, to be uh, honest, to be heedful, to be resilient, to be sincere, to be diligent, to be tactful, coherent, and to be energetic, to be aware, to be honest, to be hopeful, to be reliable, to be determined, to be eager, to be self-assured, to be insistent. How do we uh, how do we do our work? Of, of course, if we are if we are heedful, we do our work heedfully. If we are resilient, if we are diligent, for example, we do our work diligently. If we are tactful, we do our work tactfully. We speak tactfully. Coherent. If we are coherent, then we do our work coherently, is energetic. If we are energetic, we do our work energetically. So as so far, uh, so on and so forth. Yes. As for do, for example, if we do our work heedfully, consciously, competently, hopefully, insistently, coherently, energetically, truthfully, reliably, tactfully, eagerly, what do we have in the end? Of course, uh, we have uh, we have uh, heedfulness, we have competence, or we we see that we have, we see, we recognize that uh, we have hope, we have insistence, we have coherence, we have energy, we have the truth, we have reliability, we have uh, tactfulness, etc., etc. Have, when it comes to have, yes, we have the overall well being of body, mind, heart, and conscience. Do we have the right or the responsibility to be, do, and have something? Of course, uh, it is quite natural that it is a fact that. We have both uh, right, uh, both right to be to do and to have something, and we have also have the responsibility. Uh, we have to, we must be, we must be, we must do, and we must have something good, something useful, something beneficial. Yes. Of course, we have both the right and the responsibility to be, do, and have something. How do we live if we are aware of our rights and responsibilities? Of course, we live, uh, we live successfully, happily, uh, and peacefully if we are aware of our rights and responsibilities, and if we if we try to be or to enhance uh, to enhance to enhance being something doing something and having something continuity is important yes we can live and work in harmony yes in the end we see that uh, we see that we can live and work in harmony like the harmony of sea and sky. What does living mean? Yes, in a way, let's take a look at what uh, living or what life means. We need 
excitement not to fall into monotony. What do we need uh, not to fall into chaos? Yes, we need excitement not to fall into mo monotony. So uh, excitement prevents us from uh, falling into monotony. What do we need not to fall into chaos? So first and foremost, we need regulations. We need principles. We need uh, rules and standards not to fall into chaos. Discipline. Yes, we need discipline not to fall into chaos. What does the image say? Without poets, without artists, man would soon vary of nature's monotony. Yeah, thanks to thanks to uh, those poets and artists and experts and specialists and academicians, uh, we become we always uh, become aware of the harmony the excitement uh, in life because of those uh, civilized uh, civilized and educated educated uh, characters personalities now when it comes to coherence what can we say about coherence consistency coherently is adverb coherence now yes Sorry, coherency and coherence, both are nouns, sorry, both are noun, same. Noun is a noun, the quality of logical connection. What does uh, coherence mean? Coherence, coherence means the logical connection and orderly uh, relationship of parts, systematically, yeah, systematically relationship of parts. My friend is a person of coherence, for example. My friend is a person of coherency or coherence. He knows when to speak, what to speak, why to speak, how to speak, how long to speak. Yeah. What's your friend like? My friend is my friend is a person of sincerity. Yes, he always uh, he always uh, does what he says, for example. Coherent as an adjective, let's focus on, on it. Logically consistent, not random, but definite, applied to persons as a coherent thinker, for example. Okay. Alex is a coherent lecturer. What is Yusuf like? Yusuf is a coherent doctor. Yes, logical consistency means a set of statements in logically consistent if they can all be true at the same time. Okay. If they can all be true at the same time. It is the harmony of truths. Yes. Coherently as an adverb, in a coherent manner, yes, in a coherent manner. Stance, stand, yes, in a coherent stand, posture. After taking the course, Peter communicates with the customers more coherently. What should Kevin do to communicate with his fellow fr uh, friends coherently? Of course, first and foremost, he uh, should be aware of his capacity uh, to be a coherent person, to have coherency and to speak coherently. He should accept this, that he can be speak, he can communicate with his fellow friends coherently. Yes, coherency management or oh, Experts also say that coherency requires management. Coherence is one of those ethical standards like honesty, diplomacy, kindness, trustworthiness, mindfulness, diligence, tolerance, modesty, decency, 
prudence, heedfulness, thoughtfulness, resilience, etc., etc., so on, so forth. Ethical standards, as we can call them as ethical standards as well. Now, let's uh, see the summary of chat GBT. This presentation explores the nexus, the links between caliber, competence, and confidence in building a positive personality, emphasizing the CEO, emphasizing, symbolizing, or uh, exemplifying, yes, exemplifying the CEO role in one's life. It underscores, it underlines the significance of accomplishing positive deeds. Confidence based on trustworthiness ensures a harmonious, harmonious balance. The lesson unveils life's open secret, be, do, and have. Through engaging scenarios, it illustrates, it demonstrates uh, the importance of coherence, urging individuals to embody to concretize ethical standards for a well-rounded personality. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, for uh, today as well. And I wish you a good day. Uh, so see you uh, next time. Uh, take care. Take care of yourselves.